In this video, I want to show you how to use manometer rule to calculate a pressure in the manometer. Suppose liquid A is methanol and liquid B is water, C is mercury with specific gravity of 1.37, P2 is 121 kilopascal as shown in the picture, and given H1, this little part is 4 cm and H2 is 12 centimeter. So we need to calculate P1 in kilopascal. First of all, given specific gravity, then we had to calculate the pressure, so we had to convert that to density. And specific gravity equation is the density of the substance divided by the density of the reference. And we can write down assumption that the reference is reference density is the water density at 4 degrees Celsius at 1 atm like that and given that density of water is a thousand kilogram per cubic meter and then times the specific gravity then we get the density of mercury then we can go ahead and apply manometer rule. That's two ways to write manometer rule. The pressure on the left of the manometer, P1 plus rho1 GH1 is equal to P2 plus rho2 GH2. In this case, we have, on the left we have P1 plus the um, density of methanol, GH1. Well, we can find out the Deflection of, uh, of methanol is H1 plus H2 in this case, and it's equal to mercury, that is manometer liquid, and mercury times gravity times the mercury deflection plus the pressure caused by water, and density of water times gravity times the deflection of water or we can use that another way to write down the manometer rule is pressure 2 on the right is equal to starting from P1 whenever you see the liquid go down we we'll use plus symbol so plus the pressure of the liquid in the down term minus whenever the liquid go up we use the minor symbol, which means that looking for the final elevation of the liquid and the initial elevation of the liquid. If the liquid go up from final comparing to the initial, then we use minus sign. So if it go down, let's say it start from here, and then the final is here, right? So we use plus sign. Then in this case, we start from P1, and then uh, liquid A is methanol. Methanol initial elevation is right here, and final elevation is right here. It goes down, so we use plus sign. Then liquid C is the uh, manometer liquid, starting from here, and then final is here. It goes up, so we use minus sign. And we still have liquid B, liquid B starting from here, and stop here the final elevation and then you also go up right so we also use minus sign then in this case starting from p1 and liquid a go down so we use plus sign and the deflection of liquid a is h1 plus h2 and monomenal liquid go up so we use minus sign and density of mercury which is found out tends times the gravity times the deflection of mercury is H2 minus because this one go up so we use minus sign density of B is water times gravity times the deflection is H1 then we get H2 and substitute this equation with the number given then we can calculate the pressure of P1 we get approximately 122 kilopascal. Well, let's see. 
the pressure on the left go down and the pressure on the right go up. So on the left it go down more than the than the right. So what well, we find the liquid is lower, so we can say that this answer makes sense because the pressure on the left should be greater than the pressure on the right because the liquid on the left is lower. It means that you apply more pressure on the left of the manometer than the right of the manometer. So just double check your answer when you run the calculation.